Hey, what's up guys? My name is Alex Chung and today we're talking about how to edit street photography in Lightroom. Before we jump into the computer, I want to just start by saying that this is just my way of editing street photography and how I like my images to look like. If you don't like my flavor of editing, that's totally fine. There are tons of other web tutorials out there on YouTube that you can learn from. So let's head on over to the computer and let's get started. All right, so we're in the computer now. Uh, so here is a picture that I took when I was in Seattle. And this is gonna be our reference picture on the left and on the right is a picture of the Brooklyn Bridge that I shot when I was in New York. So first things first, we're gonna head over to the highlight right here. We're gonna bring that down to about negative 46, 45, that works for me. And I'm gonna bring up the shadows to about 55 around here looks good to me so just to flatten out the image and to compensate for that I'm gonna be bringing up the whites probably around 18 should be good and then the blacks I'm gonna bring it down to just about negative 52 right there looks good and then I'm gonna bring up the clarity to about plus 15 and also the vibrance to about plus 18 looks good for me right there just to bring up just a little bit of uh, color in the brick right here and then uh, moving on to the tone curve right here I'm going to set a midpoint and we're just going to do a really simple S curve Bring up the highlight right here and then bring down the shadows and then I'm gonna pinch in the tails of the shadow and the highlights Just to give it a little bit of a fade right here. Uh, you don't want to over do it too much and there yeah that looks good for me and then moving on to the saturation panel over here I'm going to desaturate all the reds and I'm going to do the same with the green the aqua the purple and then the magenta um, and then I'm going to go back to the orange right here I'm going to bump it up to about I think 50 around 50 or 45 looks good for me and then I'm gonna go over to the hue tab right here and I'm going to bring down the orange to about 44. It looks good just to make the orange a little bit redder. It looked a little bit too green. Um, and then the yellow, I'm gonna bring it down to about negative 21. That looks good right there. Cool, and then moving on to the split toning right here. For the highlights, we're gonna set a hue color of 234. And then I'm gonna bring the saturation up to about 16 or 15 or anything like that works. You don't wanna overdo it too much. I just wanna add in some highlights to uh, the color to the highlights right here. And then for the shadows, what I'm gonna do is gonna to go to this little box right here. And right here, you can pick your own color. So I'm gonna go over to a preset um, that Lightroom already has for us. I'm just gonna click the last one and then come out to the saturation right here and I'm gonna bump it up to about 13. That looks good, 13, maybe 14 right here should be good. Again, for the split toning, you don't wanna do too much. You just want a subtle hint of blue. That's what I like in my pictures. Um, you can change it to how strong or how um, less you want it of blue and that's up to you. I'm not gonna mess with the sharpening, the noise reduction, all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna mess with that. Um, no lens correction over here or camera cal calibration right there, no effects or anything like that. So yeah, that's it. If you wanna add a bit of sharpening, go ahead. Um, you can add it to just to make it a little sharper. Some of the lines right here might be, might pop out a little bit more. I'm good, I'm not gonna add anything. Uh, to the picture anymore. And if you want to go ahead and save this as a preset, all you need to do is come over here to the little plus sign on the presets panel and give it a name. I'm going to name it Street Photography Tutorial. And then you, what you want to do is make sure to uncheck the white balance right here and uncheck the exposure right here because every picture that you edit is going to have a different white balance and a different exposure. So once you have everything checked, um, just click create, and then you'll have the preset right here. And then what you can do is you can go to a different picture and you can apply it to that picture, the same preset, just click it and it'll go over, it'll carry over the preset from the previous picture that you just made. 
and onto the new pictures and this looks perfect uh, maybe what I can do is crop in the bottom hit enter should be good and there you have it a really simple way of how I edit my street photography and that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you learned something from it if you want the download link to the preset, I've included a link to it down below in the description. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And if you like this video, please drop a like, hit that like button, and make sure to subscribe to my channel for future content. My name is Alex Chung, and I'll see you later.